Hi everybody, uh, we're going to be doing a, a little quick tutorial on how to enhance your photos in Adobe Lightroom uh, version 4. Um, we're already in the develop module. You, get a, you ever taken one of those pictures where you just, it just looks good and then you, when you import it, it doesn't have the coloring, or the clarity that you're looking for? This is a simple step on how to take that picture and make it look the way you remember it. What we're going to do, we're going to start off over here. Um, I'm going to leave the exposure the same. This picture was taken with a Nikon D7000 camera. Uh, 120, 1 125th of a second at f14, ISO 400. Uh, so we're not going to have a lot of pixelation in the image, but we are going to still brighten it up a little bit. We're going to make it a little bit clearer. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the panel on your right hand side. The first thing I want to do is the highlights here. You know, you can use your slider if you like to. You can move it around left or right, um, change the images that way, however you like. Um, double clicking on the highlight will take it back to zero. This image, as you see in the histogram over here, is a little bit bright in the background. So we're going to change this to a blue sky. Bring out the color of the sea, the, the color of the foliage uh, by the lighthouse. Um, so what we're going to do is under the highlights here, I'm going to take this and hit on the keyboard minus 50. And then go down to the next one, which is the clarity. I want to only add this to say 10. The vibrance, we want to make this a little bit brighter. Now change the color to the sky. I'm going to change this to 80. Now you see the blue color of the sky, the blue color of the ocean itself. Next one down is the saturation. Um, I'm going to raise this to 50 on this one as well. And you're going to see the image actually start to really get brighter the way that you really should see this, this image. And under the saturation here, the red, I do have some red here on the lighthouse itself. So I'm going to start changing the color a little bit to brighten up some colors. So under the saturation, under red, I'm going to increase this by 50. Orange, you have some orange down here in the side of the, the cliff here. So I want to brighten up the orange. So I'm going to take this one up to 55 on this image. Yellow, I'm going to leave at zero. Uh, not a lot in here to change on this one. The green, I'm going to uh, up the green a little bit here, only to about 40, which will brighten up the, the trees, the brushes around the lighthouse. Aqua, I'll leave the same. Uh, I'm not going to uh, adjust the aqua at all. And then the blue, I'm going to raise this to only 20, which now starts to get the, the bright colors of the image. I'm going to leave the purple, magenta, I'm not going to touch at all. The sharpening, now we're going to open, going to start to sharpen the image up a little bit. By default, Lightroom sets this at 25. Um, with the new version 4, you know, you don't have to do a lot to make this image really stand out. So I'm only going to raise this to 40. So, you know, the image will start to get clearer. You start to see the, the detail of the image. Uh, radius, I'm going to leave uh, where it was at. Masking, I'm going to only raise this to about 20. I'm not going to change this a lot. You'll hardly see the difference in the image itself. Under noise reduction, um, and the, the luminance is where you're going to, especially if you're using a high ISO in your camera, let's say something around 400, 800, this is where you would start to smooth out the, the pixelation of your images. But this image being shot at uh, ISO 100, it's not real bad, but we're still going to make some adjustments. On this one here, I'm going to raise the luminance to 40. You see the image actually get a little bit smoother, a little bit cleaner. And I'm using the tab key to move down the, the sliders here. Detail, I want 100% of the detail of the image, which gives the, the image back some texture, but taking out, like I said, the, the noise in the, in the image. Contrast, I only want this to about 20. Contrast is the difference between the lights and the darks. I don't want it too awfully dark. I do not want it too awfully light. So we're going to just 
leave it right there. And this is basically all you really have to do to take the haze out of the sky to give your image the, the look of the blue sky, the blue water, the waves crashing, opened up a little bit more the color of the hillside and the lighthouse itself. You can see now we've changed the histogram over here on the right hand side. We've moved some of those colors back away from the right hand side of the histogram which means it's overexposed back into the middle. So this was the, the steps you can take. Very simple, very easy. Um, you don't have to change a lot to give the image the coloring that you remember seeing when taking the picture. With Lightroom 4 you can go back here to a, a before and after shot of what you started with to what you're ending with. On the left hand side of the display module you'll see that the image was what it looked like when we started, kind of grayish, which is a lot you see whenever you're out at the ocean. And to the after, which is the right side, uh, where you have the blue skies or blue waters just applying a few filters, not having to do a lot. Uh, in Lightroom 4, you can if you click on this again, it gives you the, the whole picture, one above, one below. Um, I particularly liked it the other way, but if you're working in an area where you need a little bit smaller view, this will work just fine. Clicking it again gives you the over-under, so you can see that the blue sky is very gray, and then the water was very blue after we changed the, the, the settings. And clicking on it one more time gives you a side-by-side -side comparison. So I like to use this one right here. And you can toggle back and forth between the two however you like. So I hope this helps you out a little bit. Um, if you have any questions on uh, anything that we've done here today, please just send me an email. And I'll get back to you as uh, quickly as I can. Thank you very much.